Come on. What is this? A teapot for a giant? How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to the David and Goliath mine in Hydranir. Today, we're going to be adding some more to this mine and testing it out. It's been a little while since I last played, so from what I remember, this is quite stable. I want to do a few upgrades to this. Uh, we are getting a little bit of leakage, so hopefully I can figure out the uh, problems with that. But in our testing of this, it was actually remarkably stable, so I want to add some more to the system. Uh, but before that, a big part of the newest update is engineering is now in Hydranir. So I want to check out that, of course, today as well and see what that is all about. So yeah, we're going to buy all the blueprints we can possibly get and the new tools and workbench that we need, which is all up here. And I think that's all we need is, well, we already have tool bags, mining helmets, all that fun stuff. But yeah, we have a screwdriver here um, and then the workbench itself. And I don't know too much about this, so it's definitely going to be a little bit of a learning curve, but it should be pretty easy enough to understand. That's actually pretty expensive in Hydranir monies. Okay, now that we got the tools, we have to obtain the blueprints. Now, I admit this is a little confusing, but uh, it kind of makes sense. So, to get the first blueprint, which is the candlestick, we need a sword with a weight of 12. Now, I did not bring a sword with me because I forgot what the first blueprint required. Um, but yeah, that makes sense. And then we can buy that blueprint, and basically, if we have, I think, a heated bar with a weight of 3, we can make the candlestick. And then, we can go down the blueprint list by making candlesticks, and then then you get the idea all the way down to the battle, or sorry, not the battle axe, the, the blunderbuss by making a battle axe, and that can unlock the most important item, at least in my opinion, is the toolkits, which I use a lot of, but you can also make pipes, wrenches, uh, other types of pipes and whatnot, basically all the uh, items you make a lot of in this game. So yeah, I guess we'll go back, I don't know if I have any iron right now, I should? Uh, make a sword that's hopefully a weight of 12, I believe it was, and then get the first blueprint and start going down that list. Okay, and I did have a little bit of iron here. Now, how I think this is going to work is the weight of the iron bar is going to be the weight of the sword, at least hopefully. So this is a 36. We need three bars to make one sword, so I'm just going to use all of these. Uh, that's going to be still a weight of 9, because I don't want to use too much iron, because then I'm just wasting it. Um, you have to make a sword, regardless of size, with at least a weight of 12. So we'll make the sword real quick, and we'll see if the weight of the iron is equal to the weight of the sword, which i got to assume it would be. I mean, that would make sense, right? So, oh, damn it. Where did that go? Um, oh, there it is. <laughs> so we didn't even need to make it this big, and yes, as you saw for a second there, it is the 36 that we needed. So we should be able to get the first blueprint, um, and I think we need the first blueprint uh, and make that to get the second blueprint, so this is gonna take a while. A lot of traveling back and forth because you need each item to get the next blueprint, but uh, it is kind of neat. I just wish it was a little more easy to understand, especially if you haven't looked up anything in this game. If you're a new player, this would be extremely confusing, but thankfully, I mean, I have what, like 150 hours in this game now? So I, I have a good understanding of how this game works. All right, so yeah, just to confirm, we have a... <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh my god, seriously? Maybe we shouldn't put this so close to the side. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna lose my sword. Uh, but yeah, we have a sword of 36. And to buy the candlestick, we need a sword of 12. Now, if I did try and leave, let's just see what happens. As I assume, we get the Wilhelm scream and we can't buy it. So now we put this on here, I guess? And... Uh... Yes? Oh, it was over there. Okay, so now I own it. Well, that's confusing. You have to put it on the scale. Um, but yes, uh, we should get it now. Yes, we got our first blueprint. Now, let me just make sure before we leave, keep a mental note. So we need it basically 12s all along. No, 18. I don't like that it's different weights every time, too. But these should be pretty easy. It looks like this will be... Well, the first one's going to be gold, so the candlestick's made out of gold, that makes sense. And then we go back to iron, it looks like. That is the new material, I think. We have a little, the clodium, that's what it's called. So it looks like we're going to need a lot of clodium to get down the list here, which kind of makes sense. Um, so yeah, hopefully I have enough clodium, but uh, at least I understand the mechanics of how this works. And hopefully by the end of today, we can go all the way down. So yeah, I guess the next is going to be... The candlestick into the teapot. These are some weird items, by the way. Teapots, bird cages. <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, so now we need a bar, a gold bar, that is, with a weight of three. 
three. Ah, oh, these are some small weights, man. I have no idea what any of these bars are. Again, it's been a while since I last played, but there's no sense wasting gold. That's really not too much gold, and we can just half that, and then half it once again, and that should be close to three. Seven. I, I'm not worried about losing four weights of gold. I don't know what the weights are in this game. Pounds, maybe? I have no idea. But yeah, if, if my brain can think this through right, all we need to do is put a heated bar on this with the... Oh yeah, the screwdriver. Can't forget that. Also, I bought some um, rails for the end of my system here. Because that was the one issue with the system. Sometimes it would shoot over. So hopefully just doing that will be enough to keep them at bay. Okay, heated bar throw on here, and then I guess just click on it? Uh, does it have to be on this, like, perf- Oh, you know what? This thing has to be over here. Is it that specific? God, they're making this way more confusing than it needs to be. Let's try. Yep, that was it. It needs to be on the stone tablet thing. Okay, well, now we have a giant candlestick. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm not very smart. We needed a candlestick with a weight of 12, didn't we? God damn it. Okay, let's do that again. We're, we're learning. Where the hell did my screwdriver go? There it is. I really should organize this place a bit, but... Oh, I, th I thought it was one. I was like, you get random can candlesticks? No, it was just the wrong way. But yes, that is a weight of 14. That's exactly what we need. So now we'll head over there and trade this in. Here we go again. Oh. Well, that was convenient. Okay, one giant golden candlestick for a metal teapot. Sounds like a great trade. Thank you. It's not even a metal teapot. Now, now that I think about it, it's just the ability to make them. So this is going to be with iron. And then I'm pretty sure it's going to be Clodium after that. But at least we can make a shield. And bam! Oh, <laughs> Come on. What is this? A teapot for a giant? I like that the teapot's so fat. Doesn't mm -hmm. fit in. And when I try and do the jump drop... It just, it just doesn't have any balance at all. What if I do it over here? Skills? Is that... The hell is going on? Like, what? What? Why is this flipping? What? Is it top heavy? I don't get it. Just st This, this, this is gonna drive me nuts. And then if I put it too far over here, it likes to float. There we go. Do not move the giant teapot. And there we go. I can now make actual armor. Something that makes sense in this game, but... <laughs> Got, gotta get the kite to make the bird cage. All right, so we need a shield of 16, and I'm almost certain that's Clodium because that's gold. It's definitely a different color. I wish it kind of showed you somewhere. That might actually be hard to get. 18 Clodium, sorry, 16, is actually a lot. Mind you, I haven't done much mining since Clodium was a thing in this game, so hopefully we can get lucky and find a bunch. All right, back over at the ram drill system. I remember I had a clodium bar here, and it's a small one, but every little bit of clodium is going to count. So we'll bring that back over. How much is this bar? I forget. Um, no, just, you know, 70,000 lying on the ground over here. At this point, money is just a gimmick in this game for me. Oh, I have a golden... I have two of these. I forgot I bought. I don't even remember why I bought them, but that's like 20,000... Right there, too. All right, but yeah, I don't think we're gonna have enough, um, Clodium, so we're gonna have to actually do some mining now, which I'm not complaining about, because I want to test out my system again anyways, but, uh, yeah, we'll see how much Clodium we have. And worst case, if we don't have enough, we can remelt it and, uh, get a bigger bar. All right, Clodium, that's a bigger-looking bar. That's exciting. Maybe we will have enough. Mind you, we need 18, which is quite heavy. This is probably not 18. 10, so we're about halfway there, a little over. Um, so it shouldn't take too long because I don't think I spent too much time on this. And back in the coffers we go. So yeah, I'll worry about actually automating Cloudium later. Um, with how much we earn right now, I'm not too worried. I just want to get it started so we can start mining. Uh, we should have, yeah, the Davids are doing great down here as you can see. Looks like most of them have the shards that we need, so I'm going to start to turn them on. All right, and let's test out the system. I'm really going to have to build, like, a walkway here soon because, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a little dangerous, especially trying to fill these things. Just wanted to make sure there wasn't any junk in the runway here, and no, indeed, there is not. So we'll turn everything on, get everything moving, and start mining once again in Hydraneer. It's been a while for me. All right, everything's looking good. I love the sound of these machines. What I- oh, I forgot to do this all the way down. I'm gonna have to put a railing all the way down. Next time we're at the, uh, store, we can do that. It shouldn't bang into each other, I don't think. It's gonna take these a second to start to get down there. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's looking great. 
interesting enough, they all turned off, but then they turned back on. Okay, so I don't remember that happening before. That might be an update that changed it. Just want to make sure everything's working well down here. Oh, isn't it great when things work out? This is fantastic. Come to me, my babies. Any Claudium in there? Looks like a lot of gold and not much else. Well, that's fine. It's looking like this is working quite well. Now I just got to keep an eye on the drills, making sure they're all working. Uh, and yeah, we will be expanding out the system. I just wanted to make sure everything is good. Again, it's been a while since I last played, so uh, I wanted to test it once again. But yeah, I really like the design of this system. It's very easy to add on to it. Basically, we just need a few um, pipes here, and then one David and one Goliath and two grinders, and we're basically good. Interesting. Um, what the heck is going on here? So my Claudium's not combining. Wait, was that all dirt? Oh my god. I thought I, the problem in this game is all the things look similar. Cloudium especially looks like dirt. So did I just combine? All right, I have to pay attention then. We're still getting dirt through the system somehow. This is dirt. It's all dirt. Why is dirt getting through the system? Well, that's embarrassing. I thought this was all Cloudium coming through. Clearly, Cloudium's a hell of a lot more rare than I remember. That's Cloudium. Okay. Well, god damn it. <laughs> So there is this small lip right here. This has got to be where it's coming through. We'll wait for the next wave to come through. You can see, I guarantee this is it, because we got dirt all over the ground down here, too. Sometimes it's somehow getting down to the next conveyor belt, though. It must just explode out in front of it. And that's why some dirt's getting through the system. I mean, that looks pretty good. But it goes really, really fast, too, so it's hard to keep up. I don't know what I could do to fix that, though. Maybe put one more funnel, like, inside of this? I don't think I have any funnels here to try that, but I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Okay, so yeah, I kind of have this top open, so what I'm gonna do is... Oh, is drop my freaking window down. Oh, damn it. All right, let me just grab another one. <laughs> As I was saying, um, if we could somehow, yeah, block this like that, that... Ooh, I don't know if they'll get through then. I was hoping... I wonder... I wonder if we could do the rails. Yeah, like, something like that should work, because the rail technically isn't a fence, it's just a wall. So if we do that, that should at least block the top from exploding, and hopefully it falls at least back there, and I can always manually pick that crap out. Um, yeah, I think the rails will be the best option here. And I also bought the extra funnels. If we put that there, though, then we run into the same issue of it being, yeah, basically at the chute. I mean, I guess we could try it and see what happens. Um, but yeah, it's still not connected directly to the um, second funnel. It's got this opening, which is the frustrating part. All right, so we're ready to go once again. I'm just checking my filters with the new magnifying glass, and wow, they must have up updated the filters because uh, they're lasting a hell of a lot longer. So we should be able to simply just turn this on and get back to working right away. I'll obviously clean this up. Let's actually do that real quick so we can make sure that hopefully we fix this. I just want to make sure before that that these even get through now. All right, and here they come. It's looking good. But yeah, we're back in business. I'm just going to clean this up, and then we'll test and see how the dirt is working now. Oh, damn it. Uh, can I... Can I have those? No? Okay. And would you look at that? We got 18 almost perfectly. So, uh, yeah, that new, uh, test ran quite well. I'm still getting some gold leakages, as you can see. Uh, I know exactly why that happens, because when you have the, uh, conveyor belts overpowered, sometimes the first one doesn't register. Just because of how much stuff is in the system right at the start, so... To fix that, we might want to put an extra one of these in. It's not a huge deal, though, in testing. You can see I got three little nuggets through it. Not a big deal at all. So, yeah. One Claudium bar done. It's kind of nice that we have an extremely rare ore, especially when you're this late in the game and gold is extremely easy. Um, having Claudium, something that you can try and strive for, is really, really exciting. So, where is my screwdriver? Let's go get this one done. And, oh my god. <laughs> I feel like in this game, there's, like, lore that we're, like, a miniature man or something, because everything we make is huge. All right, and a giant shield for a <laughs> birdcage. I mean, maybe it's maybe it's a human cage. I don't know, but interestingly enough, this one's gonna be harder than this one. And then we're getting near the end, which is really really nice. So, 
Yeah, we'll have to run the system again and see how long this takes, but now we only need 16. What the hell is going on here? Sir, st stop! Oh my god, I, I picked it up and I dropped it again and it's still doing it! Where are you all going? Is this like the gold god's payment or something? Is it just gonna keep rolling? Okay, I... <laughs> Where'd the other ones go? I, I've had that issue twice now. It's still, it's still bugged! What the frig, man? Alright, you know what? Screw you then. I brought it all the way back, and it's still rolling, baby. Now, how are we doing up here? Oh, that's not good. Okay, that was our first claw. Good thing I checked that. I always check at the best times, clearly. Um, yeah, gotta say, it's stable, though. I've been running this for a long time, and it's looking like those grinders. Definitely doing their job. Every now and then, though, some bigger pieces get in, and when you get unlucky, you get a big piece like this. So just a tip for anyone who's actually playing this game and having David issues, put a dollop of dirt right above the Davids, and then it will do this, and then it will make sure your Goliath drill always has dirt underneath it. Once I figured out that, I've had not had one issue with this whole system here. You can see every now and then, the uh, Goliaths like to glitch out and reset, and that's why there's holes here. But as long as you have a dollop of dirt on, on your Davids, you'll automatically have your dirt balls go all the way up to as high as they can in the system. Makes it so you don't have to troubleshoot basically anything at all down there, and that has seriously fixed the processes of my system. So as you can see, is this another piece of dirt? Oh, I'm getting worried now. I've had four pieces of dirt. Not like that's much at all, but still kind of frustrating. Also, it looks like a piece fell down there as well. So I'm still getting dirt through the system. I mean, it's hard to tell from where, but uh, with how little it is, I'm not too worried. We might just have a runoff for dirt down here somewhere. And I think I'll do the same thing for gold. I might put an extra um, sorter right here. That way, the gold that gets through, because there is quite a bit of it now, as you can see, doesn't affect the end of my system. What the hell? Oh, there we go again. Seriously, I don't get it. Maybe that's the issue, though. They just, like, glitch out and continue throughout the whole system. But yeah, the reason why I haven't added an extra conveyor belt here and automated the Cloudium is because I'm worried that there's too much gold going through the system. Uh, if you don't know how the melting works is whatever's the most in the pot is what actually melts. And I would hate to lose all my Cloudium because I have too much gold going through my system. So once we uh, fix the gold, we'll obviously automate this part of the system as well. All right, let's see how we're doing though. It's been running all night. I think it just turned morning time. So not too many issues, just a few blockages, but nothing crazy. Cloudium is extremely rare as you can see though we only got five so yeah i think we'll take a break right now i'm happy with the system though we uh we got rid of uh, most of the kinks mostly being that big dirt issue that we had and i just explain what i want to add to the system just to uh make sure it's fully optimized and i think once we do that this should be a really good system i guess just out of curiosity how much did we get today for gold gotta remember we only have six drills so it's not gonna be too much i don't think but um, it's still always fun to see. So yeah, we earned 8,000 8, in gold. I still think my other system's way better, but you gotta remember that system's way bigger. Once we uh, sort out the kinks in this system, I can uh, expand it quite a bit, and we should have a lot of money coming from our Goliath drill system. But yeah, I'm happy with it. I hope you guys are enjoying this, and I hope you guys enjoy checking out the start of the engineering. What do you guys think about this? I think, A, it's really cool, because I like that you can make your own toolkits, because toolkits are a big pain in the butt in this game, but it's a little confusing. I think it could be a little bit easier, um, and I think it, it, it just is a little confusing, and the items seem a little interesting. Like, why would I want a birdcage? I don't really get it at all. But yeah, if you guys want to see more of the engineering, we'll definitely be doing more of the engineering anyways in the next episode. And we didn't expand out today like I wanted to, uh, but the engineering took longer than expected. So yeah, in the next episode, we'll definitely be expanding this out. Maybe go up to 12 and see if that can uh, be done with the current version of the system. Because the one bottleneck I'm going to have sooner or later is these two. These things can only take so much, and uh, I'll have to figure out a way to expand this out easily uh, once we do hit that limit. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.